I'm gonna try and do the same GCSE maths paper that I did when I was in my GCSEs. One, two, three, testing, 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 and testing, and even more testing. And testing again, and also still testing. Okay, so I'm not in the kitchen, what a surprise. I'm actually in the garage. I don't have a garage, I remember my bedroom. Started off today's video with a lie. Anyway, so today I'm gonna try the same GCSE maths paper that I did for my GCSEs, but I'm gonna do it now, and I'm gonna try and see what I can get in it. I did my GCSEs like in 2015, so that's seven years ago. Great calculation, mathematics. Basically got an A star, thank you guys for watching. That is the end of the video. Prank patrol. Exams are coming up. People got GCSEs, people got A-levels, uni exams. What else is there, bro? Life, you got like your life exam, God's test. Actually, that doesn't count because you can't cheat. But most of our lives we've been studying. Unless you're like 80 years old, then I don't know why you're watching this video right now. I don't know if you lot even did GCSEs. I swear you were at war them time. Why would you be learning about Pythagoras when you're getting nuked? Yeah, and I'm just gonna try and see how much I can get because yeah, like I said, we spent most of our youth studying. But how much do we actually end up remembering? Because for me, it's been seven years now. Seven whole years. I've not touched GCSE maths. But how much do we actually remember? Let's put it to the test. This is a science document. Can you see the background as well? All pale white. This is a social experiment. It's not a social experiment. I'm literally sitting down doing a GCSE maths paper for a YouTube video and um, you guys are gonna watch it, please. Really quickly though, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. This video is short, short, short. We'll try again. Big love to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. I sound like one of them YouTube dogs now. That was not nice. But I'll speak a bit more about them afterwards. Right now, I'm just gonna continue living my childhood traumas. I need to go print out the paper now. Edit so maths GCSE 2015. I'm gonna do the non-calculator one because I don't have a calculator. The only thing I calculate is the money in my bank account is not that hard to count to zero. If anyone wants to sponsor this, who can sponsor this video? Let's think. Like, just do it. Wait, do I do foundation tier or higher tier? Higher tier was the better one, I like, because it's higher than foundation. Foundation is like the fundamentals, and higher tier is like you're sitting on a balcony. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna print that. Print. Control P. No printer selected. How about I select the printer? Okay, this is gonna take a while. In the meantime, do you wanna have a conversation, guys? Do you wanna talk about life in general? No? Okay, no one? Cool. Bro, it took my printer 15 minutes to print this paper. To print one GCSE maths paper. Not even A level. Flipping slow printer, man. Good thing my printer didn't have to do GCSEs, bro. So, oh wait, 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 guys, guys, big announcement, it's not that big of an announcement, but I'm gonna announce it. Drum roll, please, guys. I never insert sounds anyway, so it's just gonna be like, Okay, that was a drum roll. I got a new camera. So basically, that means that I can have this filming the paper so then I can switch between you seeing me and you seeing the paper. Innovation. It's not really innovation because it's been done before. Should I put it a bit closer? Look at the camera, it's trying to get close, bro. Chill. Oh, but is the camera now distracting? Does it annoy you? I can't, I don't know if it annoys you or not. So now I'm just gonna have to keep it here and hope for the best. Let's get started. First things first, surname, other names. Is it worth filling in my names or I'm gonna do it anyway? Surname is consider subscribing. I have not written it with a pen in so long. What the hell? That was so disgusting. Oh, what? What the hell? You lot use this all the time. All right, these are all the formulae right there. Question one, what are the heights in centimeters of 20 men? Show this information in order to stem and leaf diagram. I don't know how to do the stem and leaf stuff. Stem and leaf diagram. This is the maths paper. It's common like biology. So they gave me the heights of 20 men and it's just bare heights. So, oh, I know. All the 16s go on their own, 17s go on their own, 18s and then the 19s go on their own. I have to do an order, I think, but I can't be asked to do an order. So I'm just gonna do the number straight away. And 192, 192 centimeters. It's not a competition, dude, relax. Work out the percentage of these men with a height greater than 184 centimeters so we need to find out how many men are over 184 centimeters divide that by the amount of men in total and then multiply by 100 so we got 188 so that's one two three four there's a four out of 20 420 <laughs> four over 20 which is 20 percent x equals three work out the value of 4x cubed that is basically just four three cubed four times nine which is 36 yes we got one mark guys solve 5x plus 4 equals 14 plus x okay that's 4x equals 10 x equals 10 over 4 which is 5 over 2 which is 2.5 sean works wait can you see oh you can see okay wait am i doing this the right angle bro i'm shook of edit when i go to editing and i'm like oh i should have done this in a different way my guy sean he works for a town cancel ca cancel 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 culture cancel sean he wants to find out how many people use the bmx track in the town and he's going to use a questionnaire design a suitable question for sean to use in his questionnaire what so sean yeah sean you work for the council are you sure you want to do that design a suitable question for sean to use in his questionnaire bruv just ask them guys how often do you use the bmx track this guy he's not sean about anything he's doing moving on there's bet this is hefty oh i meant to do this timed as well let me time myself time my husband tom's gonna buy 25 plants to make a hedge here's information about the cost oh this was bruv i'm hearing sean tom this was before they started trying to be a bit more inclusive with the with the names and maths exams okay i think we can all agree that maths exams could be problematic but kind of i think the main issue with maths is is that it doesn't teach us real life skills stuff like how to pay taxes money management how to protect our data from getting finessed because everyone's got access to internet now and your personal information is at risk of just getting finessed and this is where the sponsor surfshark vpn comes in and i can't lie i'm not used to doing sponsorships okay so don't distract me so basically surfshark vpn is a virtual private network and what it does is basically keep your online identity safe and it does this by encrypting all the information that's sent between your devices and the internet and 
and in English, because I know no one understood what I just said, that basically means don't get caught lacking on the internet. Because a lot of your personal data could just get finessed. Yeah, there's bear hackers. You're basically naked on the internet. It's not skin out season, you need protection. It doesn't only offer protection, you can also change your location. I'm in the UK. I could fly out to Armenia right now, no vaccine. A lot of stuff is blocked in certain countries. Like on Netflix in the UK, it's limited. We don't have the same selection as Americans. Okay, so I'm gonna go on Netflix here. Yeah? I can't lie, this is not my account. And type in NCIS. They don't have NCIS, bruv. They have SWAT. I didn't want to watch SWAT. Okay, I don't know what that is. Let me read about it. I'm joking, I don't care. But if I just go Surfshark VPN and I just change my location to the United States, because I know this show is available in the United States. United States. Hey, these have got flavors. What am I feeling? San Francisco. I heard the weather's good there. All right, let me connect to San Francisco. And basically now I'll try again NCIS. Bang, it's right there. But yeah, you could basically just do the same thing. Just switch to whatever location you want and unlock these shows. Work smart, not hard. I wanted to watch NCIS and see IS right there. Subscribe to Surfshark VPN, obviously, if you need it. 83% off. I don't know why. Why is it 83% off? Why couldn't it just be a nice round number? But it's fine. That extra 3%, it could change the um, fabric of the universe. And yeah, you could try it out for 30 days. If you don't like it, they'll give you a piece back. And also, you don't need to pay for extra devices. You can just have a one account with bare devices. So basically, the same as Netflix, in it? So yeah, link in bio. Anyway, continuing with the uh, mathematical trauma. So Tom, Tom, he wants to make a hedge. Here's information about the cost of buying a plant. So Kirsty's are 239 and Hedgeworld plus VAT at 20%. It's a lot of information. I need to absorb it. Not being absorbed right now. I'm not a sponge. Tom wants to buy the 25 plants as cheaply as possible. Should he go to this guy or this guy? So first we need to find out how much it will cost him to go to Kirsty. So that's 23.90 plus 23.90 plus half of 23.90, which is what? 11.95. So we've got 59.75 for Kirsty. So you're getting bumped. And then this guy is 52 pound 50, but 20% VAT is around a tenner. Okay, if it's a tenner, then bun Hedgeworld. Hedgeworld's bumping everyone. Kirsty, yeah. Shout out Kirsty. My guy, my guy, Kirsty. Is that a, is that a unisex name? Kirsty. Imagine a Kirsty. I'm trying to imagine myself playing football, yeah? It's the big centre back in Sunday League, and it's Kirsty. Nah, it doesn't. Kirsty's a girl's name, I like. Yeah. Shout out Kirsty, though. All right, now this time. Oh, what a shocker. Look who we got. We got Jane. We got Jane. The cheese is in the shape of a cuboid. Jane's going to make a new cheese. The new cheese will be in the shape of a cuboid. So it's not a new cheese, is it? It's not a new cheese because you just said the cheese is a cuboid. Oh, my name is Jane. I want to make new cheese. Oh, I want to make it into a cuboid again. Where's the creativity, Jane? I'm guessing you didn't get it from your parents. They named you that. I'm joking. By the way, I'm just saying this stuff as a joke. Guys, disclaimer. If your name is Jane, big L, but I'm joking. The cross section of the cuboid will be a five by five centimeter square. Let me see if there's a better way to put my camera, man. I'm not my camera, man. Like, my camera, man. See, this is why punctuation is important. Guys, like the video if you want me to do English exam next. I'm talking bare. This is meant to be under timed conditions. I need to get an invigilator. I'm going to get an invigilator. They're giving me bare information. I'm just going to read what they want me to do. Work out the value of X. And I'm going to read backwards. This is what I used to do for my maths exam. I used to just read the question at the end, what they want me to do, and then just start reading backwards. Because now, when I read the actual stuff that they're telling me to do here, I will read it bearing in mind that I need to find X. Okay, so she wants this volume to be the same as this volume. So the volume of that one is two times 10 times 15. And then she wants that to equal five by five by X. So then that means that all we need to do is divide everything on that side by that thing. And that basically equals four times three, which is 12. Please, if it's not 12 centimeters, I really don't care because no one's actually marking this except for myself. I hate this stuff. I hate graphs. Anything to do with graph, I don't like graphs. Describe the relationship between the age of a car and its price. This is one mark. So this is going to be something big. As the age increases, price decreases. Age up, price down. A different car of the same model is three and a half years old. Estimate the price of this car. So now we need to go back to the graph. We need to go back to where three and a half is, which is in between four. So it'll be around here. It'll be around these ends. So it'll be, let's say 6.9K, 6,900. Let's just say that. Oh, this stuff as well. I hated this stuff, man. Rotate triangle A 90 degrees anti-clockwise with center O. I remember we used to have like this, what was it called? I was gonna say trading paper. It's not trading paper. It's transparent. What is it called? Tracing paper. And then you can cheat and just go 90 degrees anti-clockwise. So clockwise is this way because the clocks go this way. Shout out Big Ben. And then anti-clockwise obviously is they don't like clocks. It's clock phobic. Sorry. I can't do this without tracing paper. I can't lie. Okay, so this is how it's gonna look. It's gonna be like this. That's how it's gonna look. But I don't know it's gonna be. That's the that's the question of the day. Where's it gonna be? Oh, if I get a rope, can I is it cheating if I use a rope? I don't care. I'm gonna use a rope. I got some tissue. Look, this is what maths is about. It's about using what you have around you to prosper. So we've got that there, and we're gonna use this point here and we rotate it 90 degrees. This is a 90 degree angle. Okay, that's the 90 degree angle there, yeah? And then we go bang. And that was that point. So then it goes like this. If this is wrong, I just wasted tissue for no reason. Save the trees. Also, I've noticed people saying, oh, I don't look at the camera. I, I can't get, it's, it's difficult. I keep forgetting. I just keep looking at myself to see if I'm in the frame. But I'm gonna try and make an effort to look at the camera. 
eye contact. Next question. Why are there bare transformation stuff, man? Describe fully the single transformation that maps B onto C. So this is B, yeah? It turns into C. So it is a reflection on this axis. It's a reflection there, innit? But how do I describe that reflection? Y equals X. Y equals X. Okay, let's simplify these equations quickly. How much time have I gone through? 15 minutes, bruv. Simplify, so that's 2G minus 3H. Y minus 2. Y? Y. And then simplify that. That's 3, 1, 4, 5. P to the power 5. Next. John, why? <sighs> John. is John now. John. John. Jonathan. John. John buys some boxes of pencils and some packets of pens for people to use at a conference. I can't be asked to read the rest of that. Let's read the question. How many boxes of pencils and how many packets of pens did John buy? This is free marks. Free John. He gives one pencil and one pen to each person at the conference and there's no pencils left and there's no pens left. Okay. A bit confusing. Gonna have to <laughs> let that one marinate for a minute. But it doesn't tell me how many people are at the conference. Am I supposed to just assume? Am I supposed to just... See, I looked at the lens this time. I'm remembering. This one's confused me a little bit. John. Simple name. Difficult question. Oh, I looked at the flipping. Okay, I'm gonna try. Lens. We need to find the highest common factor. We've got 40, 80. Does 15 go into 80? No. 120? Does 15 go into 120? It goes into 30, so it should go into 120. Oh, okay. I keep looking. Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna look there. I'm gonna. Can you even notice from this far? Look, look. This is lens. This is the other thing. This is lens. This is the other thing. Anyways, 120. So that's three packets of pencils. And then that's 120 divided by 15. It's not 10. It's not 9. It's 8. It's 8, isn't it? Yeah, it's 8. All right, Mary, Mary, of course is flipping Mary. Where is Abdul Latif? I'm seeing Mary, John, Jonathan, Shaw, Sean, Poppy. Now I'm gonna try to predict the remaining names. There's gonna be a Tom, there's gonna be a Sally, there's gonna be a Olivia and an Oliver. At least one of those is gonna come up. Anyways, does Mary have enough money to buy all the tiles that she needs? So she's got a conservatory. I don't know what that is. Man said conservatory, bro. Labor. She's gonna cover the whole conservatory with tiles. The tiles are sold in packs and potions. Uh, one pack of tiles will cover two meters squared. She gets 25 pound discount. Why did she get 25 pound discount? Because she's white. So Mary's only got a bill. Mary, you're br why did you have only 100 pounds and you got a conservatory? Does she have enough money to buy all the tiles she needs? So now we need to find out the area of the conservatory. Oh, this camera's actually kind of hot, you know? Like, not in that way. I wasn't gonna lips it, chill. I meant like, it's dissipating a lot of heat. Area of trapezium is half times A, B times H. A is, um, what's A, bro? A, A, A. Okay, next. Oh my, car. The guy's name's Carl. He wants to raise money for charity. Okay, that's better information. Work out the probability that Ali. Oh, there's Ali! Round of applause to GCSE, the Excel, the maths. Okay, Ali is playing game once. Work out the probability that Ali will win a game. Watch, Ali's gonna lose. I'm telling you now, Ali's gonna lose the game. Because Carl is Carl. He designs a game for people to play. He uses a fair 10 sided dice for the game. Each person will roll the dice once. A person wins the game if the dice lands on a multiple of four. It's better information, man. It's a 10 sided dice. What kind of dice is this? Oh, a 10 sided one. What's the probability that he will win the game? So he's got two in 10. He's got one in five chance of winning. Each person pays 30p to play the game once. The prize for a win is one pound. Carl thinks that the game will be played a hundred times. Work out an estimate for how much money Carl will raise for charity. Okay, the probability of someone winning is 0 0.2. The game's gonna get played a hundred times, so that's 0 0.2 times 100, so that's 20 pound. That's how much he has to give away. So his profit is four pounds. Four pound for all of that? You've done nothing. What change have you made? You got someone a meal deal and then one pound change to get a Red Bull. Carl, I'm joking. Relax. Well done, mate. Carl down. Ugh, this stuff, this stuff. Work out the size of the angle marked x so how do we find out x from we need to find out this so we're gonna call this y why i don't know oh the f thing got it i got it i got it the f thing yeah look can you see there's a letter f like there you see like f f no i said f bare times i don't do fraud that's 120 degrees and this is 80 so this little angle there must be 40 and then you do the z thing so then this is 40 x is 40 please be 40 degrees if it's not then i'm sorry to my younger self do i fit wait let me did i get this right when i was 15 or not let me try to think of myself when I was 15. Would I have gotten that question right? I don't know, bro. Okay, so now we've got a rectangle. The A-sided shape, is, it's got four rectangles and four congruent right angle triangles. What's congruent again? Congruent, congruent. I forgot what congruent means. Congruent. The flip is congruent, man. Oh, if this is two, this is eight. Oh, this is Pythagoras. A squared plus six squared equals X squared. So X is 10. 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. So that's 40 plus two plus two plus two plus two. So it's 48. The distance from Fulbeck to Ganby is 10 miles. Oh, I love it, man. What kind of average speed Raksha must drive? Raksha! Unless I put this. Hey, oh, my battery died. Damn. Anyways, um, there's n sweets in a bag. Let's read the question. Show that n squared minus n minus 90 equals zero. <sighs> I'm so tired. Anyways, um, I, I don't even want to give it thought. There's just bare stuff I'm seeing. Hannah, Hannah's eating sweets. They're asking me about probability and then showing that. I was bad at show that questions. You, let me just show you what I used to do for show that questions. Okay, this is the show that. If you just say show and then you write whatever they told you to show, they'll just mark it. How to cheat on exams 101. Make A the subject of the formula. We'll just start rearranging from now. P, 4 minus A equals 3A plus 5. And then we got 4P minus AP. AP? Hey, like the video so that I can get money and then move into an AP. So we put all the A 
is on one side and then a equals 4p minus 5 over 3 plus p. Prove that x can be written as 1 over 22. Okay, relax. I have no idea. Smiley face. Hopefully you get one mark. Anyways, find the value of... Ugh, oh, this looks so... There's bare words, man. Work out the value of h. I'm not going to read any of that, bruv. I don't know what is going on. I beg you read this question, guys. Just read it because I'm not bothered to read it out. How do you do that? Guys, I'm sorry. I'm not proficient in what the hell. I can't lie. I went on my phone for like the last 10 minutes because of this question. Um, I'm not doing it. I've given up. And you know what's mad? I'm hearing like the new GCSE papers are way harder than the old ones. Okay, now I've done the paper. All we need to do is mark it. We need to find out if I would have got a higher grade when I was a kid. Um, when I did this paper, I don't know how many marks I got, but I got an A. Let's find out how much I'll get this time. Let me get a red pen so I can feel like an examiner. Okay, this pen we don't need it anymore. Uh, I didn't get a red pen, I got a blue pen. Shout out Boris, I don't want him to deport me. Question one, we got, oh, I got this wrong. Oh, I forgot to include 15, what the hell? Where, ah, oh, remember the heights questions where they were like, oh, rearrange the heights of the people. I didn't realize there were people that were 156 centimeters. I can't lie, I still got that question right. If you're that short, then that's not my fault that I didn't see you. Um, anyways, B, 15%. Oh my God, I got the question B wrong, okay. How did I get that wrong then? Men greater than a height of 184 centimeters. 188, 190, 192. That's three man. Three divided by 20 is not not 4 divided by 20. Oh my god, off to a horrible start, what the hell? That was the dumbest mistake. Why did I just count an extra person? Did I just count the guy that was 192 as two people? Oh, I got the one mark question right, well done. Go me. That's correct, nice, thank you. Okay, Kirsty, yes, five marks. I'm just gonna try and mark this as quickly as possible, bruv. The answer's 12, what? Bruv, maths teachers, you lot have it easy. Why are you man always stressed? Like, English teachers, they have to read bare. Maths teachers, if the answer's wrong, cross it. If the answer's right, tick it. Okay, one mark, 7,000, so that's correct. <laughs> Four, okay, two, five, okay, that's correct. Two. Oh, yes. I did five. That's not three, but that's one. This, I just skipped that, I skipped that, I skipped that, I skipped that. That's correct. Okay, so now I'm gonna count my marks up. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, five, fifty-one. Bro, I got fifty-three at this. I got fifty-three marks. What the hell, bro? But the thing is, I don't know what grade that is. So I need to find out the grade boundaries for that. Okay, I think this, this camera is no longer in use. Goodbye. Anyways, back to this one. This is paper 1H. It's saying that if you do 1H and 2H, to get an A star, you need 155 marks. To get an A, you need 125. And to get a B, you need 95. So I would have technically gotten... Okay, so I would have gotten a B in maths. Um, when I did it seven years ago, the same exact paper, I would have gotten an A. Please revise your exam. My camera's going to turn off. Anyways, oh, it's flashing red, so I'm panicking, guys. Um, consider subscribing. What's the other stuff? Like the video. Um, and bye. Bye.